The FB-101 Scorpion light tank, or armored reconnaissance vehicle by British classification, was developed in the late 60s. It is a part of the tracked combat vehicle CVR T family. The FB-101 Scorpion entered service with the Royal Army in 1973. It replaced the Saladin armored car. A total of 1241 Scorpions were built. For a long period of time it was the main vehicle in armored reconnaissance regiments. In 1994 this vehicle was withdrawn from active service with the Royal Army, but it's still operational with export customers. Vehicle is armed with L23A 176mm rifled gun. It fires HSH, HE, smoke and canister rounds. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. There was a small batch of 32 vehicles fitted with a more powerful 90mm main gun. One of the main requirements for the FV-101 was to make this light tank airportable. That's why a number of light alloys were used building this tank. The Scorpion has a welded hull and turret, made of aluminum alloy armor. Only removable armor sheets over the engine and transmission are made of steel armor. Vehicle has a front-mounted engine, which provides additional protection for the crew. Front arc provides protection against 14.5mm heavy machine gun rounds, fired from 200m range. All-round protection is against 7.62mm rounds and artillery shell splinters. This tank relies on its speed in order to avoid being hit. The FV-101 has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. Initial production FV-101 Scorpion light tanks were powered by the Jaguar 4.2-liter petrol engine. It was a standard car engine, however its power was downrated from 265 horsepower to 195 horsepower for longer service life. This engine was chosen because it was commercially available and had high power-to-weight ratio. Later, it was replaced with Perkins diesel engine, which had better fuel economy. Both engines had similar horsepower rating. The FV-101 light tank can be fitted with flotation kit, which makes this vehicle amphibious. On water it is propelled by its tracks.